So from an IDB perspective, we have had a uh, focus on youth in general, because Latin America has a very large youth population, and then at-risk youth, kids who aren't in school or come from troubled homes um, circumstances. And so most of those kids are not employed and have big issues around employability. Will they come every day? Will they show up on time? How do they deal with conflict? How do they deal with obstacles in their path? And we have focused very much on that over time. Um, a lot of what we have done has shown us that focusing on those employability skills is critical, so-called soft skills. Because companies are good at teaching people, youth or not, how to make a car, how to serve a drink, how to, whatever they do. But it's very hard for them to teach those soft skills, like how to deal with conflict. So our work with adolescent girls and boys has been focused very much on those soft skills. And now, linking that to employment and employ, actual employment. So we've created something called NEO, New Employment Opportunities, that looks to create a million new jobs over the next five to 10 years. And it's working with various anchor companies around the region to develop specifically the kinds of programs that they need in a public-private partnership with government so that kids get the kind of training that they need. And then they've got internships, which can lead to real jobs. We've done a ton of impact evaluation on this topic as well. Um, you know, it's, it's fascinating. It's less expensive to do that kind of training, and the return is much higher. We actually are doing some, some research to expand our knowledge base, but, but with the knowledge that we have, what's interesting is you can do it a lot of different ways. I mean, you can build the skill of how I work with somebody and how I deal with conflict by tying two people's legs together on a soccer field. You can do it by having people in a kitchen cooking together. You can do it in a more work-oriented environment. So, you know, you can use sports, you can use information technology, you can use on-the-job, more closely related skills. So there are a lot of different ways you can do it, and it depends on how you think you'll be able to reach your audience. What turns them on? And that's your gateway. I had a conversation with uh, a Minister of Finance from the Caribbean two weeks ago. And what was interesting is that y I'm not sure all the policymakers around the world understand this. And I think governments may still be in the place where they're trying to figure out whether they should be teaching people welding or coding. And Actually, the likelihood is that they're going to teach people to weld when they need to teach people to code, and they're going to teach people to code when, government, when business needs welders. And business does that stuff pretty well. So first of all, they need to have a conversation with business to figure out what business would like them to do. But secondly, what business has said is they're not good at the soft skills. So if you channel government slash public policy dollars into that with a little bit enough of, uh, let's say, a hard skill so that you can get an internship, they'll take it from there.